Welcome to another edition of Avery Dennis and Reflective Tips and Tricks, Traffic Jet 101. Today we're going to walk through the basics of the FlexiPrint DX design software. Your first step when setting up the FlexiPrint editor design software is to build your spot color palette. To do that, you'll have to go into the color specs, which you can enter by either clicking the magnifying glass with the ink droplet here, or clicking View, Color, Color Specs. And this will bring up a table of available colors. And as you can see right now, we have no spot colors built. So for the printer setup I'm going to build for, we have black located in spot 2, green located in spot 4, red in spot 5, and blue in spot 8. So to start building, I'll simply click New, and then start building my spot colors. So they'll be named for their location. So in this case, it's spot 2. You'll notice it's a capital S, P-O-T, no space, and 2 for the naming designation. So under Mode, I'll need to select Spot. And down here in Shade, and this is where you'll enter your approved opacity. So for this, since it's black, our approved opacity is 80% for this. If you click this little black box here, this allows you to set your color chip. So right now it's set for black. What we want to do is actually set this for an even lighter looking shade, just to give the operator a visual standard to work off of, just so they know that this is definitely a spot color. One thing you'll note, as soon as I change the color of that color chip, it has changed the mode back to RGB. So simply click the drop down window and select spot. So to create the rest, continue through the same process. So click new. Now we're going to build spot four, which is the green. And we're going to lighten this a bit, just so once again, the operator has a nice clear visual on the fact that they're using spot colors in this case. For green, our approved Opacity is 90%. Now we're going to build spot 5. This is red. Once again, we're going to go through and lighten the color a bit. Change back to spot. And the approved opacity for this is 70%. And last will be spot 8. And this is blue. And the approved opacity is 80%. So now I've completed building my palette. If I simply click OK, you'll now see these four colors are available down below in my palette. So spot 2, 4, 5, and 8. Or I can also select them from the drop down window in the fill stroke editor here on the right. So if you look, if I Scroll all the way to the bottom of the list. Now you'll see spots 2, 4, 5, and 8. And these are now easily accessible for building any of your different file types. 